Welcome everyone to the bonus ranger video. I was sitting underwater AFK and now I'm getting attacked by the Leviathan. But here we are. Holy fuck, that dude is huge. We're here to fight the Leviathan. What should I use? Let's use this. Let's use this. But yeah, we're here to fight the Leviathan. So to spawn him in, there's like a, a siren underground, I believe. I don't know. Not underground. In the water and to spawn it, you have to be in the water. So just in underwater AFK. And... Here we are, we got attacked by one. We're on a different world, by the way, because I couldn't get our other world to load. So this is like a two-way boss. There's a siren, and then there's a leviathan himself. It's interesting. I don't know where the fuck the leviathan ever is. Yeah, I'm in a new world. The other world broke. <laughs> and I tried to load my backup. The backup wouldn't even load. So, uh, that sucks. But it's good. It's all good because it's a sign, you know. The series is like no bonus episodes, and I'm like, nah, I still gotta do the bonus episodes. Look at this motherfucker. Oh, hey, don't touch him, man. He's just sleeping. <laughs> Get this siren lure. So that's you find that underground, you tack it, boom. You can fight this boss at. Why do I keep saying underground? Underwater. You can fight this boss at any point in time. Okay. And I'm playing on the latest two mod load. You can fight this boss at any point in time. Uh, the only way you'll get his loot though is if you are, was it post, is it post Plantera? I don't remember. Uh, I think it's post Plantera or post Golem, I don't, I forget. But, you can fight, oh he's dead. Look at that. You only get his loot if you, the post, whatever. Oh actually no, you get an enchanted pearl. Hmm. So there's that. Now let's let's show off some of his uh, later loot, okay? Enchanted pearl. Wow. I get to fish more, guys. Hold up. Let's well test out the new aquatics, right? Where's your DPS cap now, ass? All right, give myself ten treasure bags. Let's see what we get, okay? Let us see what we get. Let's kind of move everything around a little bit. Clear out some space for all this. Guess I should favorite all that. Um, I have palm wood. I don't need the other wood. All right, let's see here. We're trying to get the range weapon, Brackish Flask. So I'll show all, most of these off. Might as well, you know. Brackish Flask, and then this is expert drop, menacing Leviathan, Ambergris. Ambergris? I don't know how the fuck you say that. You leave behind poisonous seawater as you move. 75% increased movement speed, 10% increased all damage, and plus 20 defense while submerging liquid. If you're damaged while submerging liquid, you'll gain a damaging aura for a short time. I wasn't done reading. Being outside of liquid decreases all damage done by 5%. Hmm. So it's like a benefit and not a benefit at the same time. Wow, look at me. I'm, I'm brackish. Ooh. That's really cool. I like that. Who can I throw this at? Give me someone to throw this at. Right there. You got takers. Woo. That's a good ass weapon right there. Alright. Moving on. Next is the Siren Song. Cast slow moving treble clefts that confuse enemies. Watch out, boy. I got treble clefts. Who wants to get hit by a treble clef? Come on. No, some of you motherfuckers don't get hit by a treble clef. Does it pierce? No, it does not pierce. I mean, enemy confusion is always good though, so. Next! Ooh, Leviathan mask. That's fucking hot. The range weapon. We won't use a range weapon yet. We'll use a range weapon last. Let's see everything else first. The green tide summons green blasts of water from the sky and enemy hits. Every time an enemy is hit, it does that. So let's see if we can hit a couple of enemies here. Ooh, there we go. It was pretty strong. Ooh. Ooh. I like that, I like that. Alright, what are we missing? The summoner now? Oh shit, chrono set. Wow. Where is the summoner? There it is. Alright, the lure of enthrallment. Summons a siren lure to fight for you. The lure stays in place, shooting water spears, ice mist, and trouble clefts at nearby enemies. Oh, look at that. That looks kind of phallic, to be honest, but we're just going to ignore that. Come on, I need to get out of the water. 
Huh. Another uh, weapon it drops is the Intense Atlantis. Cast Aquatic Spears. Holy shit. That looks really cool. Alright, let's go ahead and show off the range weapon. What can we show, the, show off the range weapon on? Um, let's put you uh, stuff from Urgen. Gel Ghost. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's get our boss so we can show it off on then. How about the new Slime God? How about that? That's not the new Slime God. Well, maybe that's the last one, the new Slime God. Okay, that. What does it do? So this is called the Leviathan. Oh, no. Leviathan. Uh, fires poisonous seawater and regular seawater blasts. Does not require ammo. That's really good. Weapons that do not require ammo is always good. But at the same time, it's kind of a nerf to themselves because using special ammo is also always good. So, uh, let's see here. Let's summon in... Where the fuck is the full version of... Uh, slime God. Is he not here? He ain't here. What the hell? Alright, we'll do a uh, golden slime then, shall Golden slime. Oh, look at that. Golden slime. Look at him. Oh, shit. Shot, guys. It's getting bigger. Shot now. Can't hurt him. Now we can. You get a blast, my boy. Blast him wide open. Try me! Try me, bitch! The Leviathan is doing too much work on him. The Leviathan, my bad. No, I keep forgetting. Such an iconic name. Oh, uh, look at this. This is actually not... Well, the fucking Golden Sun is pretty tanky. But look at this. There's like, different color blasts? Is there a reason why there's different color blasts? Poisonous seawater and regular. Yeah, okay. So there's poisonous ones and then there's regular. Is it like actual poison? Like the debuff, actual the poison debuff, or is it a custom debuff? I don't know. Either way, this can be good, pretty good weapon around the time when you're actually supposed to use it. Why would I actually use stuff when it's supposed to be used? Or am I right? Or am I right? So I heard yarn. He got a buff. So. You know, might as well fight him. Cause I fought the easy version of him. So where, where the fuck did I put it? Let's do this. Coming from the right. Hey, yarn. Nice, uh, nice little look you got going on with me. Now this jungle is ten times smaller than the jungle I'm used to. At least the one where I fought him. So we're gonna have to make do here. Might be a little tougher here and there, finessing around. But it shouldn't be that bad. So I'm gonna prime this dude's ass. I can't hear my ears. Holy shit. Turn that down a little bit. Turn it down a wee bit. I cannot fucking hear when I shoot this gun. He summoned up a tornado. I heard it. Oh, I saw it. Like, the movement he was doing on the map. I saw that shit. Whoa. Chow now, man. Okay. I really wish I had boss health bars. <laughs> This would help a lot having boss health bars on right now. Instead of doing what I'm doing, this just firing into the darkness. We gotta dodge. We should be pretty good at dodging now nowadays. Uh oh. Oh! Finesse? Hello? Holy shit! Okay, we're good. We good, we good. Just make sure I'm staying in, in range. Holy fuck. That was a really cool explosion. Yarn still no match for me. Still no match for me. Oh, I forgot about the weapons. The weapons, of course. So let's start with this one then. This one looks very uh, Betsy themed. What the fuck? That's the name of that new boss, right? Oh, fuck no. Wait, wait, tell me, tell me. Hey, I was, it was a joke. Dude, it wasn't me. It was the weapon. Any fucking queen bees. <laughs> okay. Murderous dragon breath. Fire your dragon fire blast at incredible speed, 8% chance of time to ammo. What is ammo? Just regular. You notice that a lot of weapons throughout, like, a lot of mods do not do not have their own, like, shooting noises. I don't know how hard that is to implement, so I won't talk about it. But, uh, this weapon looks pretty cool. 
just like falls from the sky, dude. All right, what else do we got? Let's go over everything else. Okay, let's see here. Uh, we got the Phoenix Flame Barrage. Does it go where my mouse goes? Yeah, it does. A lot of these weapons seem to just go through blocks, which is always good. Okay, does this change at all? 25. I think it, yeah, I think it's the same. Uh, Dragon Rage. Whoa. This these things cover a lot of ground. These things are powerful, which is should be expected from uh, posts or from killing yarn. So we got that one. Uh, yarn mask, of course. I go wear another mask. Ew, look at my face. That's nasty. Okay. Not even trying to diss yarn, man. I, he's a great man. Good dude. Tried it. That's all? Does it explode? Okay, it does explode on contact. That's what I was looking for. Uh, I think that's all. I don't know. What the fuck? I believe that is... Wait. Aha. The summon weapon. Oh, of course. How can I... How can I forget... The beautiful summoner weapon, everyone. My bad. Now this thing, I've seen this thing in action. Summons the sun and yarn to fight for you. The dragon increases your life gen life regen, defense and movement while summoned. See that's that's one of the good things about it is what it does passively increases a bunch of stuff for you. Uh as your melee takes a holy flame while summoned. Where the fuck is he? Is he gonna summon? So, to finish off the rest of this episode, I don't know why he wants to summon. Finish off the rest of this episode. Let's go ahead and let's go over some weapons in the run that I never got to make. And I don't really get a, a chance to make now because we're kind of just like kicked out of the world, to be honest. <laughs> so, hold up. We need that. And then we'll get the hollowed arrow. So, oh, we only made one. This only shoots hollowed arrows, this weapon. The Hollow's Eve. And I believe it's a really, really fucking good weapon. Hold up, I need something to fight with it. Let's get out of King Slime. I mean, it's a decent weapon. I don't see any, like, major... Major differences from, you know, just using a regular bow. Moving on. Uh, what else did we not use from Zoklin? Do we use the Space Blaster? I don't know if we use that. So let's get that out. That, we'll talk about those later, okay? Yeah, we'll talk about all that stuff later in the next episode. Exactly, the next bonus episode. Should be the last one. What the fuck does this use? A couple weapons from uh, the Gabe Has Ones mod. The f released one. Not the beta one. Okay. I think there's a glitch, actually, with weapons not using ammo. And I think a lot of mods are actually... You know, I'm trying to figure out well, what the problem is. I if I just get regular muscular bullets, no? Yeah, I've been hearing a problem about that in the recent team mod loader. But uh, there's those weapons, they look cool. Urgent, we're not going to mess with anything from Urgent. Even though we did have it in the pack early on. But Urgent's looking pretty fly. Don't lie there, some things looking pretty fly from it. Ooh, Crystallium, there might be things from Crystallium we missed. I know I got the boomstick. Gem shot? Did I get the gem shot? Doesn't matter. I can't use it anyways. This was look, it looks like. All right, let's go back to uh, calamity now. Okay. Some of these mods are new, and we're not gonna mess with them because they're new to the series. Aries, wow. Aries looks different. <laughs> okay. Looks different. Looks different. I think uh, the part the projectiles it shoots are, are different too. What else did we not use? Charge Dart Blaster. Yeah, we never got a chance to get that. Doesn't matter. I can't even use it. Uh, Con Conclave Crossfire. Another weapon we didn't really get to use. There's like bullets that rain from the sky. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Moving on. What's next? Uh, we got... I know there's a lot of weapons from like the... The tiers that I didn't use either. But I don't really care too much about the tiered weapons. Effervescence. 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 Uh, this. Do we use this? The Eviscerator? I know I've had it in other characters. Like one other character. But, uh, I don't think I got to use it that much here. Just a nice, you know, sniper rifle you get really early in. Not really early in. Post worms, perforators. 
however early on that is. I don't really remember how early on that is. Uh, no. Here you go. The Hell of Storm is one of the weapons I didn't use. Because it was from, uh, one of the tiers and I just didn't feel like using it. This? I have no idea what this is from. Marnite. I don't know what Marnite is. The Mineral Mortar. That's the weapon I really wanted to get, but I just couldn't. We need rockets for that, don't we? Rockets. Aha! Oof! Look at that! That's fucking sweet! Send sharks everywhere? Oof! Tearing them up! I love this. It's just a nice little, you know, rifle. Uh, the Hellstorm. Pretty fast, right? Uh, pretty fast weapon. Rifle? I guess it's a rifle. A machine gun? I don't know. And there's a couple of new ones, I believe, that I've never seen before. Hold up. I got the Dart Blaster back out. I believe this uses Stinger ammo. I think. No. Fl flares? No? Alright, I don't know what it uses. Uh, let's... So we got the Storm Surge. I think that's somewhat early in the game you can get this. But it's, you know, obviously made from Storm Lions. Very cool weapon. Very interesting. Alright, um, there's Slag Magnum. Never heard of these ones, okay? I never heard... Wait, hold on. Let's do the one that I did see, but I just didn't make the Speed Blaster. This is dope. Because I always thought the, uh, paintball gun is one of the coolest fucking vanilla weapons. But this adding on to it, that's always dope. Especially adding on to something that drops from an NPC. That's always cool. Adding to areas that you wouldn't expect things to be added into, you know? That's what I'd like to see. Oh, we can't use this? What do we, fires just normal ectoplasm and flares. That means we need flares. Ha. So let's start with this slag magnum. Fires an earth bullet that breaks in the shard and shatters enemy's defense. So I see a little slag everywhere. So that's interesting. That is very interesting. Uh, it can be pretty good for boss fights, you know, trying to break some defense down and then get some shots in with another weapon. You know, maybe like, let's get a boss here. Break fucking Queen Bee's defense real quick and then switch to this. Oh my god. Ooh, this weapon looks like it can do some work. This weapon looks like it can do some work. Let's get a boss that would somewhat stand a fight. Oh yeah. It's got the dots in there. It's got the actual DPS from the spectral. You know, break this man's defense real quick. And then get some shots off on him. Get some shots off on him. You might as well kill him. Might as well kill him. Alright, so. Moving on. Let me get rid of these two. Just get rid of all the stuff we don't need. The shroomer. Look at that. A mushroom weapon. Mushroom theme weapon. Look at that. Ooh, kind of hold it kind of weird. Yeah, like, hold it by the fucking the back of the gun. Uh, but this fires bullets at a high velocity chance to fire an extremely powerful homing shroom shot. Uh, when shot. Oh, there you go. I saw the blue shot. And then we got that titanium rail gun. Never saw this. Uh, it fires a powerful blast of light energy. So let's get another boss. Sure, skeleton. This is a very good weapon for, uh, doing events. If this is made from titanium, then you can make it somewhat early in, I'm guessing. It means if you can make it somewhat early in, then you can, you know, get that and use that against the pirates and stuff. Pretty good weapon to use. Wait, does this pierce? Oh my god. It hits so fucking hard, though. Who cares if it pierces, man? It's way too damn hard. Wait, it's a homing shot? Look at that homing shot. Nice. Homing shots are always good. Alright, so that's going to be it for this episode. You know, just showing off some remaining stuff that I missed. I think I missed a lot of things. But at the same time, I covered as many as I could. But moving on to the next episode, we're just going to fight one more boss. Couple, fuck around a little bit more. And then that will be the end of this series. Did I throw my mushroom helmet away? God damn it.